I have to stop right now. I'm about 45 miles into the ride. This muscle back here is so pumped up. It's like excruciating pain. Every time I try to push zone two, like 160 watts, 170 watts, like I don't have any room to fire this muscle and it's excruciating. It hurts, the leg's not fitting right, especially when I put a lot of big effort in and hold the, uh, the effort that I wanna hold. It sucks because the leg is the limiting factor now <laughs> and not my cardiovascular or not my strength. And that's the really frustrating part about training and just getting this blood flow back in right here. And when I don't have the blood flow back in, oh man, it's like cycling numb. And it just radiates all the way up on the leg. So I took a sock off here to try to figure out if I can um, get more room in the prosthetic. And I play around with stuff, so you see like I have this thing in there, that sheath to help support me when I take a sock off, because then the whole prosthetic fits a little differently. And then when you put force down and effort down and you're trying to pedal and, and engage all the muscles, the leg inside of the leg starts moving around. And then with that little bit of movement, I have trauma because if you're moving around in the leg, you're gonna end up having trauma uh, after a couple hours. Like I'm almost two or three hours into this ride now. And that little bit of movement aggravated a a a over the course of hours and hours and hours creates trauma. There is no other way around it. Even if I have vacuum, um, if the leg doesn't fit right, you have trauma. You just have trauma. You can't fire the muscles. You don't have enough room. It sucks. It's just a shitty fucking day and it, it fucking sucks. It's really frustrating actually because you put so much effort and energy into this shit and uh it's the story of my life super frustrating <sighs> let me get back on the bike and get home